In this week's Dirt Shed Show, we're talking about hardtails and full suspension bikes. Yes, and someone in the show has got a hangover. Uh, you've got to guess which one it is. Don't forget the Canyon Strive bike giveaway is still live, so get involved. Yes, it's the Dirt Shed Show. Wasn't very live. No. So Blake, you took out a hardtail and a full suspension bike. Which yes. bikes were they? Well, I took a hardtail, the Nukeproof Scout, and my drive. Can the one that you could win, but you can't win that one because it's mine. It's my only one. Oh, yeah, right. It's okay. So I went to my local bike park. I went to Windhill Bike Park and I put them head to head. Which one was faster, Neil? Up and down the hill. Up and down the hill. Well, full suspension bike, I'd say. You would think that, Neil. You would think that. But it does depend on the trail. Of course, you see a lot of cross-country racers still riding hardtails. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Not and, as many. And as full course. suspension bikes. Yeah. But I did it. This is the conclusion. This is what I did. Take a look at this. Yes, we're going to find out a question that we've asked in the dirt chair. Which one's faster, the hardtail or the full suspension rig? Now, I've come to the place where I know very well. I know all the gaps, I know all the lines, and this is Windhill Bike Park. Now, I'm going to choose two trails to link them together for the descent, and that is past the duchy. Yes, but it's not all about descending, is it? It's a big loop. You've got to climb back to the top to do that descend again if you feel like you want to do it again. Now, we're going to do one time run on each of these rigs. The descent, and then stop at the bottom, and then do a big climbing challenge as well. And that is on the push-up trail at Windhill Bike Park. Now, you can push up, but we're going to ride up it. Now, I'm only going for the ascending because I want to give the hardtail a bit of a fighting chance. All right, let's move on to the rig. Right, I'm going to kick it off with my hardtail. Now, this is my trusty nuke-proof scout. It's a 27.5 wheel build on this beast, but I've got 2.6 tyres. That's a plus-size tyre, so it's going to bring that volume of tyre up to hopefully a 29er. Uh, yeah, I've got to drop a dropper post on this beast. I'm running 12 by on this thing, so I've got a big range of gears. That's going to be perfect for the climbing. Talk about climbing, this thing's going to hopefully kick that full sus bike out of the water. Now, suspension-wise, the only one I got is on the front. That's 170 mil of travel. Super aggressive, slack bike. I'm clipped into this bike. Uh, that's it, pretty minimalistic, and it's lightweight. Right, this is the full suspension rig. This is the Canyon Strive CF 8.0, man. This thing, you can actually win it. Let's talk about this bike. This is a full suspension bike, 160 mil travel. Now, this is a 29er. That's a 29 inch wheel. I'm running a 2.4, so hopefully it'll be the same size as the hardtail. Now, this thing has a lot of gubbins going on. You got this, yeah, the shape shift. So when it comes to the descending, you can put it in, you can clack it, drops the BB, so it's good for descending. Then you can quickly flick it into the click, and that kind of brings the BB back up. Good for climbing, and you can lock out the suspension. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. There's a dropper post and it's running 12 speed as well. So it's exactly the same gear ratio as the hardtail. And I'm clipped in on this bike. And also, one thing I'm going to add, and they got the same mud guard. So it's pretty, pretty even. Oh, this is going to be rough. Right, downhill race done. Time to climb back to the top. No results yet, we're not over. Results are when it gets to the top. Three, two, one, go. Whew. halfway. Oh, gosh. This is a horrible one again. Oh, finish, finish, finish. Oh, 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 oh my God. 
Ah. Oh. I don't know if I got another one in me. Help! <laughs> right. It's raining now. <laughs> Right, climbing. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> right, halfway, halfway, I'm just punch it. I literally didn't feel less fast. I just sat back and just, just diesel power. There was no nitro, no hardtail power. Oh, let's, results. Wow, that looked hard work. Is that why you feel like you do now? I feel, that feels like I got a hangover from that. that probably, probably not that though, was yeah. it? Uh, so go on, what are the results? So the results, Neil, well, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the full sus first. And climbing took three minutes, 56. Uh, down the hill, obviously it was, it was 0.408 of a minute. So it's quite short. It's quite a short one. 48 seconds. Yeah, and also going down on the hardtail, you would think that would be a lot slower, but to be honest, it wasn't. It was 0.51. So what, three seconds slower down the hill? Down then. the hill. All right. And then the That's climb, this is where it gets super interesting because you would think like you've gone down fast, you're gonna go back up quick. No, climbing for the full sus is three minutes 56, and then for the hardtail is three minutes 20. So overall, yeah. who won? Well, the hardtail then. Yes. But it's quite a big bike to strive. It is a big bike. Someone like Windows, it's yeah. a 150 mil travel bike. I went for a big bike, but it was 29 and the hardtail's are 27.5. So I thought <laughs> it might be an evenly good match. Depends what you want to. What would you rather ride? Full suspension bike, but I, I love a hardtail. You do, don't you? I do love my hardtail, Neil. Wow. Well, there's, there's a little test for you. Proofs in the pudding, that yeah. one one. Nice. Let's know what bikes you're riding, and if you've got a hardtail, do you want to go to full suspension bike, or is hardtail good enough for you? Cheers for a lot of people. Yeah. The Canyon Strive giveaway is still going on until 10 a.m. on Monday, so you'll have to tune into next week's Dirt Shed Show to find out if you are indeed the winner. At the weekend, we heard of the tragic passing of Geordie Lunn. He was known for his easygoing style off the bike as much as his spectacular style on it. The free rider made a massive contribution to the riding scene and he will certainly be sorely missed. Here at the channel, we want to extend our condolences to all his friends and family at this incredibly difficult time. Right, on to this week's quiz, Blake. I've got a question for you. What, when was the first ever full suspension bike made and what was it? But before you get to oh. give me the answer, because I'm sure you know it, I was... on to Fails and Bales.
Harry uh, snapped his pedal off. Did you see that one? I did off that red wall. How dare he? Back in the day, I remember doing this with you know the old square BBs. Just not yeah. one of those. And what you have to be really careful of is whacking into your leg. And with Harry, his leftover bit of pedal went in, sliced his shin open, had to get seven stitches. My brother did that he did it twice, and weirdly in the shape of a seven. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Yeah, right. Photo. The quiz answer. When was what year? The start oh, was yeah. the first ever full suspension bike made. Uh, no. What year? What year? Ninety-three. Eighteen eighty-five. Oh, blimey! By a brand called the Whippet. Back when That's they. a dog. <laughs> yeah, it's also a, a brand of uh, very early mountain. Well, not mountain wow. bikes. Bikes called the Whippet. Wow. Full suspension. 1880. Just try and find one of those for you to make a video on. That'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Do the mega on it. <laughs> yes. It'd be better than a hardtail, probably. <laughs> Axe and bodgers. Axe and bodgers. Pretty good. That's good effort. Pretty good effort. I'm actually impressed. Um, some good ones this week. I'll start with this one, which I think is a bit of a hack. From Ted in South Australia. Wants to convert oh. to single speed, but. Before he buys all the chainrings, gear, etc., yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just locked it into a single gear. Wow. Uh, just with a sort of, see the gear cable? Yeah. Just, oh, okay, so you just reversed it. Yeah, no shifter, just a gear cable. Oh, no, that's Locked clever. into the gear, tries it out, and then you buy the that's a hack. chain rings that you were. That's yeah. a hack. I got this one from Christopher. Look at this one. It's oh. in the back of his van. It's like a child stair That's gate. a child stair gate, yeah. Very useful things. I used to use them for my dogs as well, stop them from getting Yeah, them. so yeah. Daniel's from Forrester Dean, so that's not very far from us. Uh, that's a, that's, I'd say that's a bodge. I would say that's a bodge. That's a bodge. Mm -hmm. This, I don't know, it's pretty hack. Um, Eddie on his specialized stump jumper yeah. in North Bend, Washington. Got one of those Giro detachable chin guard helmets, and then you've got to put it somewhere. That's what I always thought was a problem. You've got to have a backpack or something. Yeah, so. But he's made this sort of tie, got like an elastic tie that goes round the bars, yeah. round the stem. Oh, that's, that's a hack. I mean, it works. Yeah, it works. It's a hack. It's a bungee cord. It's always going to be a bit of bodge if it's a bungee Now, this one's brilliant. Look how many bikes there are. Now, this is Daniel in St. Louis in the USA. He's built this in the back of the trailer. This, uh, what's weird? Look at this chap. He's got no head. Whoa. Where's his face That's gone? That's a bodge. Where's his face One, gone? Two, three. He's got seven bikes in the back there. What he's built the sort of wood. Wooden thing. structure just to hold them all in. You got like these bungee straps to hold it back. That works. The only problem is, as we found out, is if the bikes bump around a lot, it can damage your frame. You can bit. damage your frame. Round about there. But if you're right, if you're driving on tarmac, I'm sure it'll be good. Yes. Hack. Who, hack. What's the best hack or bodge this week, Blake? Because they can win a GMBN jersey. Which Just, Steve's gone missing. Someone's stolen. There it is. GMBN jersey. What's the best one this week? Do you know, I think I'm going to go for the guy who wants to see if single speed, single speed. is his thing. That is Ted inside yes. Australia. Send us details. We'll get one of them in the post. A brilliant sends yes, this week. Uh, my favourite is this one from Luca, who's riding the place we know well, Windle Bike Park. Yep. Uh, that boner log drop thing. Yeah, that big wooden structured thing you can can in it. It's horrible. It's, it's scary. It is scary. I walked to the end of it, and that scared me walking to the end of it because you're like really high up and <laughs> yeah. so about that wide. <laughs> and it's doing this. And, you're and like, then I first time I followed you off it. Yeah. And I think I think I have overshot that before, which is pretty nasty. You don't want to overshoot. It's a that, long do way you? down, yeah, but yeah, yeah. well done. Well done. Good, Good send. send. He said uh, there's a big crew of people watching. So I just had to send it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> right, on to the caption contest from last week. It was a brilliant Ooh. picture of Doddy hanging out with a big monster. Yeah, the Yeti, is it? Oh, uh, yeah. So Vince Nesterton says Doddy always, no, Doddy announced his partnership with Yeti. Oh. Bikes or it's in like civil partnership. I like think. civil, but like. Just his, got his, married to a Yeti. <laughs> Doddy's already married. <laughs> <laughs> He's married, he don't even think you get it. Mike's got one, it says, oh, what, something voice. 
David Attenborough voice. Oh. Can you do that? <clears throat> I can try. <laughs> Go on. Ready? Oh, I, I, let me get, get it in my head. Here we see a rare character. It's large feet, long limbs, and uncomfortable appearances staring through one through a project. Wow, pretty good. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Uh, it's and then you see. Slightly better with you. Yeah, yeah. With mine. Very good. Uh, Rodney Dunn uh, says Doddy finally found someone that uses more hair products. <laughs> That's Ooh. a good one. Ooh. I like that one. I like that one. Uh, what's the best? They win at GMA. What a bottle that gets thrown at you. If it doesn't come in post, it gets thrown. It gets thrown at you. Uh, Who is it? Uh, I think Mike Beaumont. Mike Beaumont. Mike Beaumont. Got is the winner. Come on, Andy. David. Oh. oh. This is David Attenborough one. This week's caption contest is, well, it's you and mine on it your is. epic ride in Worcester. He looks like a donkey. <laughs> Look at that ass. <laughs> As in... <laughs> you, can't, <laughs> you can't see his rear end. Either of your rear ends, actually. Uh, yeah, leave your comments down below and you might get a chance to get a water bottle thrown at you. Into the comments, uh, some brilliant comments this week, starting out with a uh, really cool one, actually, from Jason Love, who says, mountain biking literally saved my life. Uh, it's actually not the first time we've heard something like yeah, this. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Um, Jason says, I was in a dark place in my life, discovered your channel, and got myself a hardtail and hit the trails. After Whoa. a couple of months, I was feeling heaps better, then crashed oh. and broke my collarbone. Okay. But the doctor discovered a tennis ball sized tumour inside my heart, which led to open heart surgery. Wow. And the left and the right ventricle being reconstructed. While off my bike, I kept watching your shows and getting more and more inspiration. So it's a brilliant story. It's yeah. a brilliant story. Great to hear that you are getting better. And yeah, yeah. Well, that's healing sorted. vibes, healing uh, yeah, vibes. Yeah, amazing. I keep, uh, keep at it. Uh, David Thompson says, hoping Mr. Ashton is getting better and is back soon. GMBN is just not the same without you, dude. It isn't, is it? He's no. Not, yeah. you know, we've been talking about it, but I don't know when he's coming back. Yeah, hopefully not too far away. Yeah. What's coming up on the channel this week? That was better than you do it. What's coming up on the channel this week? <sighs> Good. Uh, I've done a video, a how-to video, where actually I use some of your best bales and bales that you send us, and I've tried to show you where it went wrong and how to stop it. Well, so that's a good one. Yeah, hopefully yeah, that helps some of you out. Helps you Quite common crashes in there that people yeah. do. Talk about crashes, we've got fails and bales of the month. That's coming yes. out. Plus, me and Henry talk about it, the mountain bike trends that suck. Ooh, that's and good. actually we try and decide if they do suck or if they're just sort of misrepresented. So keep an eye out for that one. Mm -hmm. uh, fully rigid. Yes. That one's coming. Mm. And you ride a fully rigid bike? Yes. Not not a fat bike? No, a fully rigid rig. Nice. I'm gonna put it through its pace and see how, um, how horrible it is. I can't wait to see that. Right, let's get into the vault. Let's get yeah. the bow and let's see what we've got this week. <laughs> Oh! Whoa! That what is, is that? That is full on. Henry petrol. would love this. We talk about oil this slick. oil slick thing. He love doesn't love it. He loves it. This is he? Jason's binary Chupa Rosa tie hardtail. Wow! Whoa. That's a twenty. It looks like a twenty-four inch. I had this one of a kind titanium hardtail made just for me specifically. Wow. That's super nice. Feel good. Feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's got a suspension seat post on it. Well, that's really nice. Look at, this, look at the uh, spokes on it. Yeah, and the graphics on the front. Whoa! Whoa, no, that's super nice. Straight up, that is super nice. That is... It's a Yeti slopestyle rig, that. YT. Yeah, no, that's Close, but no scar. YT, sorry, sorry. Uh, YT Play oh. CF's carbon fibre. Yeah. That's It's mental. super lightweight. It's, I've ridden one, it's quite It's nice. got those uh, Conti Ray Sport tyres, but that's absolutely rapid. Yeah. Um, this is in Schanzenfield in Hungen, Germany. Wow. Looks like it's about a lot of fun to happen there. Right, nice yeah. and nice. I'll do it over here this yeah, time. Oh, um, Ooh, hot tail again. Stanton Switchbacks is uh, Burner's bike. Uh, great weekend, getting away with my buddy, exploring her hometown trails. That's super nice. Look at the photo. Look at it. It's where it's sat. Oh, this isn't. It. This is Arthur, not Burner. Burner Oberland is where Arthur is riding it. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's super. Nice. It's 100 so yeah. far. Oh wow! Look at that hardtail. Uh, Marino Lobo Turbo, aka Sick Wolf AM. Never heard of that. That's cool. North that. Vancouver, Mount Froome. Isn't this where someone got chased by a bear the other week? 
Oh, uh, nice. It's relatively new build, still working out fork settings. 62 degree head And look at the size of it. I thought the forks were bent. Super slack. Uh, it is super long. It's nice. It is nice. It's nice. Nice. Uh, ooh. ooh. Canyon Talk. Uh, oh, that's nice. So familiar. Did we see this one last week? I can't remember. Uh, Struan riding his uh, Canyon Talk. Scottish Highlands. Oh, Scottish Highlands. Brilliant. Super nice, Neil. Okay, on it. Um, Ooh, look Marcus. at the sun. Oh yeah, just about to go down. Or is it just coming up? Mm. Uh, Specialized stump jumper FRS 2019 in Estonia. Nice. Guess how sandy it is. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool, it's nice. It's nice. Uh, oh. What's that? Scott Contessa. So it's the ladies. Wow. Genius. This is Andy's bike in Blue Derby, Tasmania. That is nice. Having a rare holiday with just my husband, decided to ride Blue Derby for the first time. Magnificent place and beautiful weather. Uh, I've heard it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, That's I mean, super nice. Super nice. Super I like nice. the way there's like the orange yeah. uh, bits everywhere. everything. Cool. Oh, how many hardtails this week? Loads of oh, yeah. well, um, hardtail week or something. This is Calder, it's Santa Cruz comedian in Da Dalonega, Dalonega, Georgia, USA. That's nice. Uh, my longest solo rider uh, as of yet, just yeah. short of 18 miles, but still a big accomplishment. Oh, that's nice. Well done. Well done. It's nice. Nice. Uh, Jayco riding a Santa Cruz nomad. That looks like it's out in Australia, it judging is. by the blue gum trees and you know that. Terry Hills, New South Wales, uh, just moved to Australia from South Africa, Stellenbosch. Oi. From Stellenbosch. Yeah, what well, you moved nice. from there for? Nice, um, great trails in Stellenbosch, but some uh, discovering some great trails here. Yeah, that's, that's cool. super nice. That. Oh yeah, super that's nice. super nice. It's got those Santa Cruz uh, reserve wheels in there as well. Yeah, what? It's got the full shebang. Full spec. Oh, Ooh, workshop. Look at that guy's workshop. Uh, this is Malva. There's Evil Reckoning in Denmark. Denmark. Just finished my dream build and I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I think yes, it does. I think it does. Um, oh, he's got, look at those SRAM. Oh, he has, yeah. He's got all the SRAM. Got the access, wireless access, stuff. Yeah. <gasps> got the red he's lyric. He's got the new lyric. Front. Oh, oh no. Is that, is that the bike? Is that a push? Is that the bike shop workshop? Oh, it is push, yeah. Pretty a, fancy bike. Uh, I mean, flipping money bags. Nice. Super, super, super nice. nice. Have you ever had a Whoa. super, super nice before? And uh, it's in a shop. Got Hunt Enduro Wide Wheels. Loads of sort of smaller, cool niche brands. Yeah. There. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I like it. Oh, uh, I don't nice. Ricky in Virginia, United States. It's brand new. New trail bike, one by 10 drivetrain, nice. 120 mile travel. That is nice. That is cool. It's got Jim Bean, my God. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's good. You know, I put some new wheels and tires on my Strive. They yeah. start to look a little bit old, and it looks amazing. I think yeah. new tires. New tires does make it better. Doesn't it? Good. Oh, that looks freezing. Uh, David Scott Scale 940 in Greers, Ostel in yeah. Austria. Nice. <laughs> Bug cold. Bugger me going out there. Freezing. September in the Alps. Nice. Fat bike weather. Nice. Getting there, isn't it? Um, oh, that's that Strive or something? Andre's on his NS Stab, Saab 160 yeah. in Guadalajara, Mexico. Whoa. Going right around the world at the moment. Um, oh, what do you reckon? Nice. 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 On to the very oh, last bike. Oh my goodness me. Now, that, you don't see many of those. This is the Oz Trails, Arkansas. So this is, I think this is Bentonville right there, isn't it? Oh, right, yeah. Linsky, another Thai bike, two titanium bikes in one week. Um, titanium hardtail, 120 Whoa. mil travel. Just finished building this up today, brand spanking. Um, Thai handlebars as well. What? what are those wheels? I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. It doesn't say. They're Look at those bars. Bent sweep on that bar. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. What we did, what we're saying, that is pretty special. That is, God, you're gonna say super nice because well, I mean, it's unique. Very. Well, I hate people say very unique. It's either unique or it's not. But if it's, it's gonna be very unique, that is very unique. Yeah. Brilliant. Super nice. Oh, we're out. A load of good bikes this week. Keep sending them your bikes in using the uploader. Follow the link in the description down below for that. Uh, there are some competition winners to announce. So those physique shoes that we talked about a few weeks ago, there are one, two, three, four, five, six winners. Names on screen now. We'll be in touch by the email. Uh, loads of nice shoes coming your way. Uh, and that's it for this week's show. Aye. You survived. I survived. Thank you very much. <laughs> 
bearing with me. Um, if you want to see a video I did just the other day with the full range of comments, our kids bike, some unbelievable mm -hmm. bikes. Had some great riding there from Billy and Louie as well. Those that. boys could absolutely shred. So check out that video if you're thinking about buying a kid's bike. Yeah, and I'll be careful if you want to look a bit more pro out there. Give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. See you next week. See ya. Yeah.